So we're going to start out at our uh, structure uh, menu and then we're going to scroll down to where it says views and we're going to uh, give that a click. And so this allows us to then add another view uh, to the environment. So we're going to click on the button labeled add view. Okay, let's uh, set out uh, some new information here. So under view name, we're going to type in med view, capital M on med and capital V on view. Okay, with that set, we're going to hit enter and then down under view settings next to con where it says content. We have a pop up list. We can now scroll down. We see the label external. That's our external database. And we're going to select the BERT table from that. And with that uh, done, we can go down and click on save and edit. Okay, so that's going to uh, connect that up with our uh, view table and our master display. But we want to change uh, it from being a master display to a selected display. So we're going to click on add. We get a list of the possible displays and we're going to choose GraphQL. Okay, opposite GraphQL under format. We're going to click on settings and we're going to change and force using field. So give that a click in the little empty box, then click on apply. Okay, and we're going to do the same where it says show entity. We're going to click on the link entity and we're going to change that to fields. Apply that display and then click apply when you see the field display. Now we only have the ID field so far, but we're going to add some more fields uh, to this display. So from that uh, BERT table, we see all little bunch of checkboxes there. So click on the checkbox next to clinician, click on the checkbox next to clinician notes value, click on the checkbox next to device, and then click on the checkbox next to uh, name. And then uh, finally, click on the checkbox next to prod status, which is short for production status. So add and continue fields and apply and continue all of those fields that uh, we had uh, selected. And when you get to the last one, it'll just finally say apply. And now we've got all our, our fields added, but they're not in the right order. So under the little black triangle, choose rearrange and that'll change the display and it'll give, allow us to actually click and drag up those uh, field names. So we're going to put name under ID. We're going to click and uh, drag up device under name and prod status under uh, device. And so we're at the uh, external BERT uh, table and all of those are now in the correct order. So we're going to click on save. So the first thing we're going to do is click on our tab labeled Graph IQL. That uh, put us into the Graphical Explorer. And then when that's in there, we can actually see a listing of all the views we had. There's our uh, med view that we just created. And so we'll select that, press enter. And let's put in a pair of curly braces behind that, press enter. And that shows up a listing of what's called results. And we'll put a pair of curly braces behind that and press enter. And now what shows up under results, there's the listing of all the fields we uh, created on that view. So we'll uh, enter the ID field. We'll click on the uh, name field and we'll actually execute this as a query. Just click on the black triangle and there's all the records for the uh, BERT table for those uh, two fields. Now, if we want to see more fields, we'll just click behind name and press enter. And that shows up a listing. There's the device. We'll click on that. We'll uh, add the uh, prod status and then we'll click enter behind that. And then finally the clinician and we'll click enter behind that. And the last one is clinician notes value. Okay, so we'll execute a query on the uh, BERT table, which lists all the records for all of those fields. And now what we want to actually do is uh, execute uh, the uh, main uh, view screen for our front page. We click on the little drop uh, symbol that returns us to the front page. 
And uh, now, with all the cash is cleared and being on the uh, front page, we've got our medical data demo uh, tab uh, that's sitting up there at the uh, as the rightmost uh, tab. So we'll actually go over to there and uh, click on that. That should uh, execute uh, the graphical uh, twig environment and it will actually execute that and it'll display all of the uh, records from uh, the uh, BERT table as a display on the main uh, page and uh, that's essentially it.